What's going on, Fish Family? This is Roberto with RLC Aquatics, and I appreciate you joining my channel, Fish Fingers. Now, if this is your first time joining the channel, make sure you punch that subscribe button, smack that like button, and ding the notification bell so you don't miss out on future content. All right, so what we're going to be doing is, as you can see right here, I have a five-gallon aquarium that's already aquascaped. I skipped the whole process. I don't want to waste y'all's time. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this five-gallon aquarium, and we're going to be making it a shrimp tank. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using the Blue Dream shrimp that I already have or if I'm going to be getting cherry shrimp. So if you guys actually know anybody with some good quality cherry shrimp, leave a comment below because I'm very interested in getting my hands on some cherry shrimp. As you all know, in the past videos, I'll leave a link right up there. I already have Blue Dream shrimp, which are actually doing pretty amazing. I only got five, and I think there's some buried up. I'll do a future video on that. But let's go ahead and get some, uh, what, I'm balling on a budget, people. You guys know this. I've said it in the past. I'm a small YouTuber. I don't have money to go out there and just buy all the plants that I want. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a walk down at the pond. We're going to see what we can grab. It's about the season now where things are starting to bloom. Things are starting to grow in my pond. So I'm going to go ahead and take a walk down the street to the pond, see what we can collect to put in this particular uh, aquarium here. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get on the way. All right, so before we take a walk down the street to collect some plants for this particular aquarium, I wanna show you guys what I already have set up here. Uh, this wood, I'm sure you guys have seen it in the past video. This is uh, one of the pieces of wood that I collected in my dad's forest in South Carolina with moss already growing on it, which is gonna be amazing once this tank is settled uh, and that moss kind of starts growing outward. Um, so the wood I got myself, Everything else in this aquarium was gifted uh, by Tampa Tom, including the five gallon aquarium. So Tampa Tom, again, I appreciate you, man. I know I said it already, um, but you hooked it up and I'm putting all this stuff to good use. Um, so the substrate he gave me, this lava rock, uh, there's two big pieces of lava rock that I put that wood on. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about this tank. Again, this is going to be my shrimp aquarium. I'm not sure exactly, again, if I'm going to be putting the blue dream shrimp in here or if I'm going to be grabbing cherry shrimp. Please, again, I said it already, but if you know anyone with good quality cherry shrimp, please leave a link in the in the description below to their channel or, or where I could view these shrimp um, or even just information on the particular person who's, uh, who's uh, carrying this shrimp. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a walk down the street. And let's get some plants collected for this aquarium. All right, so we're walking down the street to my local pond. Sorry for the shaky video. Um, so... I wanted to just say it's super convenient living in Florida, being able to just walk down the street to collect rocks, plants, uh, wood for that matter. Uh, like I said in the past, the aquarium hobby doesn't have to be too expensive. And um, I'm hoping I can catch the gator uh, that normally swims in this particular uh, pond. As you can see, got the notice there. Um, don't wanna swim in the lakes and ponds in Florida. Uh, just FYI, if you're a tourist. But yeah, let's go ahead and do some collecting. Um, I'm gonna make this quick because uh, I wanna go back home and, and get this set up before I go to work. So let's go ahead and see what we can find. So this is the main area here. As you can see, the woods back down there. Um, there's bobcats in there, um, coyotes. Not sure what else they got in there, but we've seen bobcats, uh, we've seen coyotes. Uh, there's a little, I mean, I get a lot of the uh, plants and the floaters, duckweed, whatever you want to call it, in that particular pond. But we're going to be hitting up this one right here. So let's go ahead and go to that corner area because that's where all the goodies are. And let's uh, check it out. All right, I think I'm going to come back for that for a project that I don't want to discuss right now that I'm going to be doing in the future, which is going to be perfect for what I need it for. So I'm probably going to be coming back for that. Um, but let's, uh, let's see what else we got in here. You can see where the gators, uh, make their way into the actual ponds. Um, they bounce back and forth from a lot of these lakes and ponds around here. But as you can see, you can see the trails where they go into the water. And I thought that's pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys. So yes, we do have clams in here. A lot of the birds come. You can see them picking at this on the shore. I might do something with these in another aquarium. Collect a bunch of these and, and do something with that. But that's not what we're here for. All right. So we're going to be grabbing these right here. I'm going to take a couple of these. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab some of those right now. All right. I think I'm going to take some of this stuff too. Not sure if you guys could see it, but... 
I'm gonna grab some of this. See how it does. Got a bunch of goodness in there. You know what I mean? All right, last but not least, I'm gonna be quick about this because I can't see the water and I know there's gators in here and I don't give a shit what you guys say. Call me what you want. I don't need those problems in my life. So we're gonna grab some of this. Grab a lot of it, actually. <sighs> Take some of that algae on the bottom off. And uh, I think we're done. Let's get out of here and go back home. All right, so I got everything that I needed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get back into the house. We'll put everything in there. And um, whenever you guys see me again, you'll see everything in the aquarium already. And I'm not even sure if, um, there's a lot of plants that I know that will do well in the aquarium, but there's uh, some that I got today that I don't know uh, how they're gonna do, but you never know until you learn. Um, failing is a key in life. And you know, you're never gonna know unless you try. So let's go ahead and get these plants into this aquarium and see what they look like. Welcome to Florida, people. This is in the garage. I guess he made his home here in the aquariums. I'm gonna go ahead and get him out. I'm not sure if his slime or any of that stuff is good for the aquariums and if, what it'll do to the fish. But yeah, just hopped onto my AC unit. All right, guys, let's get Spider-Man out of here. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, let's get Spider-Man out of here. No, 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 no. No, no. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no. Come on, man. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Come on. Go. Go. Off you go, buddy. Off you go. All right, now that we got that out the way, back to this aquarium. I had to put these two rocks on that wood because it was floating. So I'm sure it was gonna take a few days for that to actually stay down. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm actually gonna go to work. By the time I come back to work tonight, this should actually be cleared up. Um, but I'm not sure how it's gonna look on camera. So I added the plants that I gathered from my pond um, back there. What I'll do is I'll show you uh, when the aquarium clears up, I'll go ahead and actually show you back there. I added one right there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna actually put some some moss on this wood too in that back this little crevice so I'll actually tuck it back in there But I'll go ahead and I'll let this sit for a little bit when I come back from work We'll go ahead and uh, see what it looks like when the water is a little bit more clear All right fish fam So this shrimp aquarium still has some clearing up to do but I wanted to go ahead and just finish off this video and explain the method to my madness and why I aquascaped this uh, aquarium the way I did uh, so here is uh, the piece of wood that I got from South Carolina with the moss already growing on it looking amazing um, These two pieces of wood will not be staying in the aquarium. They will be removed uh, The only reason why they're in there is to keep that piece of wood down So it should only be about two or three more days before I uh, remove those two pieces of rock um, Here is the I'm not sure if it's Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo or I know it's a carpeting plant. I got this out of my pond as you've seen previously in the video. Uh, I got some more of it back there. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty excited about this shrimp aquarium. I'm gonna be uh, putting shrimp in here. I wanna give it about maybe a month. I'm gonna let some algae build up. I'm gonna be putting a piece of almond leaf in there. Um, the reason why I built up the rock the lava rock the way I did here is just so the shrimp have some hiding spots and you know when they become buried up uh, they can go ahead and um, the, you know the baby shrimp have places to hide I'm not sure if I'm gonna be putting anything in here with the shrimp in this five gallon it possibly just gonna be mainly a shrimp tank I was thinking about putting the some of guppy fry in here as well but I'm not sure about that I'm still thinking about it but um I'm not sure if you guys can see the, the moss that I got that I tucked back in that little crevice uh, in the wood. But yeah, I mean, this is what it is. This is, uh, like I said, still needs some work to be done. Just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I'm working with. I can't wait to put some shrimp in here. 
and do an update video. Uh, when you guys see this aquarium, um, the next time it's gonna be a lot clearer and it's gonna look a lot better than what, what it does now. Hopefully these plants um, that I added in there um, do well. You know, we'll see. Like I said, you're never gonna know unless you try it. So, but yeah, I'm super excited about this. Tampa Tom, man, again, I appreciate you. All the uh, supplies and the materials that you gave me, man, I'm putting them all to use. And um, let's see, am I forgetting anything? Oh, guys, we're at 846 subscribers. 846 subscribers. We are so close to 1,000. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you also ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on the future videos that I'm pumping out. But yeah, we are right there. I want to appreciate you all. Thank you guys for subscribing for those who are already subscribed. And again, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is RLC Aquatics signing out. Stay positive because being negative is a disease and we don't have time to be quarantined. Love you guys. Peace.